It is a strange world of conveyor belts, assemblers, and inserters. Welcome to the Factorio Zone. I am Catherine of Sky, the Belt Diva. And aside from an entertaining beginning, I hope, I am back. And we left off last time building this uh, bit of a railroad so that we can make a wall down here and enclose our base completely and make it completely free of biters. We will be biterless, everyone. This is going to be great. Uh, we have a wall in the south, walls here in the east and north, uh, the northwest, another northwest, and the, the very far west. So I have just replenished the supply of stuff uh, and taken care of a couple of tiny fixes in the factory, which I did not realize were there. Uh, thank you, Greg, who has informed me of these in one of my comments. And let's just make our way back to our construction zone. And I've been giving a lot of thought to how I am going to create a train and send it on its merry way with all of the stuff for these outposts. And I think I'm going to try something. I'm going to try a delivery belt. And this is not normally something that I would ever do, um, but I'm going to use... Um, what do you call those things? Combinators to make it possible. So we're going to see how that's going to work out. Hopefully it will work very well. All right, robots, let's go. Because I, I've made the rule in the very beginning of this factory that I'm not going to use uh, bots for logistics generally. Uh, and what that means is I don't want them delivering from crate to crate. The only thing I'm kind of allowing is the, you know, delivery to myself and occasional if I have junk in, uh, that I dump into the chests that that can be, you know, put in through the logistics system by the bots like wood or other, you know, detritus items like ore that I pick up just from, you know, clearing belts or whatever, those kinds of things. But I don't actually, you know, just to get the stuff back into the system and functioning, but I don't actually want to use logistics bots for anything. And so this, you know, if I were to use a train station to carry all the materials and we're, we're needing stuff like walls and lasers and track uh, to be delivered to these outposts, uh, the, the wall defense stations, essentially, if I, if I make, because we need so many items, if I make them just requester chests, it feels like it would be cheating uh, in terms of the goals I set for this particular series. So I am not going to do that. I have, I'm going to kind of come up with a, just a, a belt delivery system, but I don't want to, you know, have, let me see how many items are on my list. We have two, four, six, eight. So far, eight items on my list to be delivered. <clears throat> That's a lot of belts. I do not want an eight wide belt going through the, the middle of my factory, picking up everything that it needs and delivering it and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to do something else. I want to have a single belt uh, or possibly two because different stuff is, different items are made in different parts of the factory. Uh, and just have everything delivered on one belt, but uh, so that it doesn't clog, we will definitely need to, oops, and I need to delete this track. This is not the right way. Uh, so it doesn't clog, I need to set up combinators, and that's going to be pretty important to do that. I'm going to make this uh, a little bit more diagonal, this track here. This is really not what I want to do. Because it has to be straight when it goes through the wall. So is that far enough over, reckon? Eh, maybe a little bit more. So, and my inspiration for this was just doing the, uh, the delivery of the bots to their bot haven. Uh, well, maybe that's now too short. Jeez. Let me go there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That should be enough. And now we'll go to diagonals. 
Okay, that's perfect. Like this, approximately. Great. So anyway, that's my plan for for the um, the next station that I'm going to set up. I definitely want to get that going so that these um, wall sections can be self-supporting essentially and we never have to look at them again ever like ever unless we want to move them and then we'll shove them over and, and that kind of thing but otherwise they should be pretty self-sufficient okay I'm gonna take off two of these exoskeletons and put on the goggles again Oy, the green boy the green uh, let me know in the comments whether you like the green or don't like the green or, and, and would prefer the dark instead. Uh, and I need to take this off at the moment so that I can fight those biters off to the left. See, for me it's kind of fine to see it in this low light, but um, I realize that YouTube makes it darker. So we'll just see how that works. My grenades light up the night with fire. Oh crap! Okay, we have we have problems. Need, I'm gonna have a forest fire here shortly. That one's okay. This one is not okay. There's a biter here. That's here. That's a worm. And a big worm. Wow, how did I miss that guy? All right. And more big worms. Yay! All the worms, all the time. There we go. Those are deaded. Killed, more precisely. That one should not spread, I'm hoping. Uh, this is spreading like crazy. But it's okay because it's on a copper deposit. And I'll just... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just clearing the copper deposit. That's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a second. What have I found? Ew. I have found a thinning of the land right over there. Uh, this may actually be a better spot. Just a smaller spot to defend. So I might take the uh, train tracks all the way in that direction. This does not connect. Okay, great. Wow, there's this nice thin spot of land right over there. I think I'll travel that way. See what it looks like. And there's some worms in here. See, now this is a good spot to use um, poison capsules because they don't damage the. Well, they do. Actually, they do damage trees, but not as much as a forest fire would damage trees. Jeez Louise, come on. There we go. Okay, so this is where the land gets thinnest. I'll take out this base before I go back. Very cool. And I'll get to put a radar station out here so we can just see kind of where this goes. I like to kind of double back on the biters and let them clump a bit when I attack them. That way it's kind of easier to aim at one big clump of biters instead of individual ones as they're running toward me. Come on. Come on, autosave. There we go. Get out of these trees. I don't want to set the whole place ablaze, so I might have just done so, unfortunately. There's just one biter left over there, kind of struggling around this forest. There, he's on fire. Good. I will go back. And I'll just build this uh, wall a little bit backward. Let's see, is this a big... Eh, it's not a very big copper deposit. I will leave it outside the wall for now. And 
there's the wall. Just get out of here. I, I want to just clear these trees. I really don't need the whole thing here. And that'll give us plenty of room. Um, walking path in front of the wall as well. Great. And there we go. Should have plenty. Yeah, I have plenty of walls and lasers and everything that I need. And I'll stick a radar down here. Oh, didn't clear quite enough trees, alas. There we are. Cool. Great. these guys there they are and put another radar up here I like to try to put it out of spitter range if possible okay oh there is my Arabella calling me so sweetly but she's going to have to wait until I finish this episode she probably is looking for a snack all right so let's see we want to put this approximately here that will work for us. Remember, I'm aligning this so, you know, for best um, effect with the turrets and also the substation. It's pretty important to have that clearance. So we have the maximally defended, defended area here. And I'm just going to put these things, and also not to disrupt this whole thing with small power poles and annoying things like this. Okay. Let's get this aligned. Good, good, good. Let's go, robots. It is time. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out and put the track up to that point. Looks good. Everything outside of that point, I'm just going to not put them there. Easy enough. Let's get these guys just connected up. Boom. Good. And power pole, of course. Let's need it. There we are. Excellent. Great. And I'll put a light down there because we're kind of in the section that we have kind of between lights. Great. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can't believe all of this stuff is finished. And we now have a massive train line that basically this is going to serve us for a very, very long time. Um, we have lots of deposits within range. Even if we don't use them all now, uh, we will have uh, plenty. Uh, you know what? I, what am I doing? Fuel, get out. I'll put wood instead in there. Oh, that just can get out when I when I exit the vehicle. All right, going back home. Yay! Ah. Oh. You guys forgot that one piece of track, you naughty robots. But we fixed it. We sorted it out. And we're going back home. So anyway, uh, in the future, there we won't have to have... Uh, apparently we have... Oh, I see. It's an extra bit of track here. There it is. Hop back in. Really should put a... Oh, shoot. You know what? I didn't put radars, but that's okay. We'll put them down when, when I organize those stations. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, good. Great. So we're back home again. This is good. I'm excited about this. And I want to cancel all of these millions of walls and things and stuff because we don't need them. In fact, I'm going to go down to the wall making area as well as the um oh that's not what I wanted um the place that makes train tracks and have them all just put them back in their boxes where they belong 
I'm going to take out this thing and put in the exoskeletons. There we go. Great. I did a little bit of testing earlier, and I'm not actually sure that six work. Six exoskeletons, because when you start to move... Oh no, they seem okay now. That was interesting. Well, previously when I was moving, they seemed to go to half power, and then didn't seem to provide a bonus. Um, except the fifth one seemed to be the last one it gave me a bonus on, but maybe it was just wonky or something. Who knows? Alright, walls. You can go here. And I probably need another chest for them. I'm just going to put down another passive provider and chuck those in there. And lasers. I do not want 500. I will take 50 just for just for fun. And concrete. I don't need concrete. And railroad tracks. I don't actually have a lot of railroad tracks, but I will keep on me uh, say, yeah, 200, maybe a little bit more. Because I'm going to be building those stations soon ish. Okay. So we're back at the base. This is really good. I'm excited about this. It's been so long since I've been back. Okay. Great. Because all of the lasers that we put down are pretty much it for, for the most part. Okay. So I think we need to address the issue of batteries. We don't have enough batteries for sure. We need more battery production. Basically, I'm going to copy this entire thing, and this is going to be this now. And I'll just make this a blue belt, and I'll have the next side go on the other side of these guys. So let me copy, paste that. Oh wow, I've got a lot of modules. That's awesome. That is so good. I'm going to have to go up to the oil in the north oil section and um oh you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put uh do i have any no probably not no alas no what is this waiting on oh what are these waiting on these need red red circuits why are there no red circuits red circuit machines go ah because there's no plastic okay we need to address the plastic we need to address the batteries um I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put level 1 efficiency modules in these for now. I know that they don't give the full bonus, but some bonus is better than none. So they should give, let's see, what does it say, minus 60%. That's good. It's, it's not as great as minus 80%, I understand, but this will work for the time being because it's not necessary for it to work any more than that at the moment and clear this blueprint and we'll blueprint it again with the modules and of course I need to hmm. if I upgrade this belt I will need to make it I need to upgrade all the inserters though this belt fills and doesn't get used so essentially it's almost sanding still alright well let's test it out let's see if this can hold the the upgraded belt and um, still go, because remember we are having this problem of that that uh, we're not supplying yellow belt any longer. We are simply uh, requesting it to be turned into uh, the other kind of belt, other yeah, red belts and such. All right. And bang, we have stuff. Things have been delivered. Yay. So this will increase our battery output. Of course, to do that, we need to increase our sulfuric acid output. Because that's kind of tuned to that. Last time I checked, we had a whole tank of sulfuric acid. But if we start producing batteries a lot, it's better to have you know, proper production rather than, than none. So I will upgrade that here. Let's check on things. Petroleum, yeah, we're constantly out of that. No heavy oil, no nothing oil. We, oh, no, no, oh, oh, even the refineries are shutting down. Looks like it's going to be, maybe I'll, instead of doing the train stations, I will just do beacons around the northern oil area uh, and also around the east because I placed the blueprints, but I never delivered the beacons because um, we just didn't get around to doing that. 
But unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.